So this one, 11 is 25% of what number? What we're going to do for fun is turn this sentence into an equation and then solve the equation. So we're going to write 11. Now, is turned into math equal sign? Is is the same as an equal sign, is, right? The 25%, I want you guys to turn that into a decimal. You could use a fraction as well if you want to. That would work also. But let's turn it into a decimal. And um, most students like to just memorize, hey, take the decimal point, move it over two spots. But the problem with that is sometimes they forget, you know, and sometimes if it's like 5%, they'll call that like 0 0.5 and stuff like that. The way to not make mistakes with percents is to actually understand them. I want you to all to write this down. 25% is 25 divided by 100. 25 per 100. 25 per 100, right? So, um, and that's what it is. It's 25 hundredths, and that's why it is 0 0.25. Two five, okay. Twenty five hundredths. So eleven equals zero point two five. Of means multiply. What number? What would you for math? What would you do for what number? You could do x y z a b c n doesn't matter, right? Let's just put in x, right? So we have eleven equals zero point two five times x. So to get x on its own, we need to divide by 0 0.25. If we divide that side by 0 0.25, must divide this side by 0 0.25. Okay. And so now we have 11 over 0 0.25 equals x because these guys cross cancel, right? So we have to calculate 11 over 0 0.25. There are a number of ways of doing it. Um, I'll just do it the straightforward way, which is directly try to do the, the division. 11, 0 0.25 into 11. Now the problem is we have to deal with this decimal point in the divisor. So we need to move this decimal point two spots to the right. And if we do that, then this decimal point must go two spots to the right as well. And that gives us 25 into 1100. Okay. Now we do the long division. 25 into 11 won't go. 25 into 110. Well, 20, there's four 25s and 100, so 25, 110, let's try four. If it doesn't work out, no problem. Four times five is 20, carry two. Four times two is eight, and two is 10, and now subtract. 110 minus 100 is 10, right? Bring this zero down. 25 into 100, four times. Four times 25 is 100. When you subtract, we get remainder zero. Okay, so that worked out. So X should be 44, right? And I'm just going to show another couple of ways of doing this. So 11 over 0 0.25. Another way is just think of some clever number to where if I multiply the bottom, I don't have a decimal anymore, okay? Because, I mean, really the trick, and it doesn't have to be, um, we don't have to multiply by 100, right? So, so is there, besides 100, is there a different number I can multiply the bottom by to get rid of the decimal? So what I'm asking is 0 0.25 times what will give something that's not a decimal anymore, right? 0 0.25 times 4, right? What is that? 4 quarters. How many quarters in a dollar? There's 4 quarters in a dollar, right? 
So 0 0.25 times 4 is 1. So, and I could multiply the top by 4 also. 11 times 4 is 44. So that gives 44 over 1, or 44. So I could have figured this out quicker this way, right? That's another way of doing it, right? So the answer is 44. Does that make sense? 11 is 25% of 44. Read that sentence and, and see if that makes sense to you. Do you think 11 is 25% of 44? Does that seem like a reasonable answer? Well, 25% is going to give us, you know, 25% of 44 is going to give us something that's less than 44, which 11 is less than 44. And in fact, if you know, like 25% is a quarter and a quarter of 44, right? 11 is one quarter of 44, isn't it? Right? So that's another way of thinking about it. Yeah, so that makes sense.